Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November from Survival Tech Nord. Today we have another quick, well not so quick and dirty for you. It's the Ultra Pack test you've all been waiting for. So this time we're doing a 10 minute test with the FT817. No internal batteries installed. We'll be using Whisper to send out beacons every two minutes for 10 minutes. So the whole point of the test is to well, kind of stress test the battery pack and see how it's all working. This should give uh, a bit more credibility for the project and a bit more confidence to you builders out there or makers uh, who are following along. So, stick with me and let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. All right, guys, this is going to be an extremely long video for me. I've cut it down as much as I could while showing you all of the key aspects of the system. But I'll go ahead and explain the setup to you. I've got a voltage meter coming off the battery side of the BMS, and I've got an inline power amp watt meter uh, between the BMS and the FT817. So the first thing we'll do is hit the reset button for the BMS and get the system powered up. So the entire test was about 27 minutes long. Uh, you can check the whisper results at whispernet.org if you're curious about those. But I cut it down because the rest of the video was actually pretty boring. So I'm going to do some movie magic here. Get us on frequency, get the tablet set up, and kick off the test. So everything beyond a few seconds from now is the whisper test. All right, guys, enjoy. I'll go ahead and narrate a few minutes here so that you understand the experiment. So the batteries weren't full when we started. They were about, I don't know, 14.4, 14.8 volts, something like that. We can see from this test how much the FT817 is actually drawing uh, in whisper mode at 5 watts. And uh, you see it's just around 2 amps. I certainly don't normally run the 817 like that when running whisper, but I wanted to stress the ultra pack as much as possible, giving it the worst case scenario from the 817. And considering we're only drawing 2 amps, Maybe I'm going to think about putting a USB port on the Ultra Pack so that I can power up my tablet in the field as well. In hindsight, I see I should have used the Fluke meter because I don't know which one of these meters, either the inline power meter or the uh, Druk uh, voltage meter on the BMS. I don't know which one of those is actually inaccurate. Nevertheless, we can see some voltage drop from the battery pack when we're transmitting. But I think that's to be expected. So as soon as I'm happy with the voltage regulator for the 817, we'll put it in line between the BMS and the 817 and run this test again. After that, we'll start the build videos. Anyway, you're all welcome to watch to the end, but I can already tell you that by the end of the video you'll find that the test was a success. By the end of the test we were getting down around 12 volts but we never triggered the low voltage shutoff. Alright, I'm going to stop babbling now and leave you technical guys uh, to watch to the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching.